The Congo River is a long, arcing river that spans several countries in West Central Africa, and it's the deepest river in the world, reaching 720 feet in some parts. It's also the second longest river in Africa, and the ninth longest in the world, spanning a length of approximately 2,920 miles. The land area that drains into the Congo River is known as the Congo River Basin. It's the world's second largest river basin, a little less than half the size of the Amazon River Basin, measuring 1.3 million square miles. That's about the size of India. The Congo River system is divided into three distinct regions, the Upper, Middle, and Lower Congo. The Upper is made up of tributaries and rapids, the Middle is mostly a steady stream, and the lower consists of gorges and falls. The Congo Basin is home to the second largest tropical rainforest in the world. Scientists have estimated that about 10,000 species of tropical plants are found in this enormous rainforest, and about 30% of those aren't found anywhere else in the world. The Congo Basin is also the natural habitat of about 400 species of mammals, 1,000 species of birds, and 700 species of fish. Humans have lived in the Congo for 50,000 years, and the area is now home to around 75 million people, including 150 distinct ethnic groups. Because of all the resources that can be found along the Congo, such as rubber and timber, and rare metals like cobalt, copper, diamond, and gold, the region has long been the home of major conflicts and European colonialism. A brutal slave trade persisted in the region for centuries, first among African and Arab kingdoms, and later, in the 1600s and 1700s, among traders from several European countries. In 1885, King Leopold II of Belgium took control of the Congo region and used murder and torture to force the native population to extract and export the region's valuable natural resources. Historians estimate that from 1885 to 1908, approximately 10 million people in the region died at the hands of the Belgians. After Leopold's death, the region was annexed by the government of Belgium and ruled as the Belgian Congo from 1908 until 1960. From 1960 to 1997, the Congo remained politically unstable, followed by a civil war that tormented the region until 2003. And the region still isn't entirely peaceful. The area continues to be haunted by ethnic conflicts, economic inflation, political corruption, European colonialism, and the Ebola virus. Because of so much political unrest, traveling along the Congo is unsafe in some areas. However, there are several groups in the region that are working to promote peace in the Congo by rebuilding conflict-damaged communities and providing safe spaces for education and healthcare.